the National Council on Public Transportation has retained Godfrey Ferdinand as its president following a recent election. For two years, um, that, that happened a month and a half ago, so we we just trying to enhance and to make sure that we give the operators, the bus operators, what they, they want and what they desire. The long-standing president of the bus lobby says high on his agenda is a thrust towards the establishment of a functioning disciplinary council. We've been crying for a disciplinary committee. We, we're looking for that and we're looking forward to it. It's in, in the making. We, we thank the ministry for at least assisting and trying to push it so that we can put some more discipline within the sector. The sector's restructuring, according to the newly re-elected president, is essential. He has led the charge in advocating for years for the installation of a cashless system in the public transportation industry. Safety for drivers and passengers, quick and effective service delivery, and consumer convenience are all advantages, he notes, of a cashless system. The, the other is to modernize the system a bit. Um, we still have the passion for the cashless system. It is going to go through. We also are looking at um, existing routes and creating other routes. Uh, and that is something that um, we, we've been looking at. Presently, there is a report coming out, and it will make certain recommendations, and will will go according to the recommendations to enhance the system. Meanwhile, the NCOPT has taken a seat at the table to discuss concerns surrounding bus service following the transition of the Castries Wellness Center to the Respiratory Hospital. We are in discussions with them to um, make that system even better. Presently, there is a, a bus system on, 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 on that route. Um, what we can do is upgrade that bus system and um, make it more, more efficient. But there is a system right now. Um, the, Mon, uh, the, the Mon does that. Cicero does it. So Bexo does it too. So we are in discussion with the Ministry of Health. They've given a, the National Council a call. We, we are in dialogue. So we will make sure that there is a system that is efficient. The public transportation sector is an important pillar of St. Lucia's economy. The NCOPT president is hopeful that long-standing issues can be resolved to bring about a more dynamic and modern bus sector. Sola Jalford, HTS News Force.